Hello dear students, today I am going to uh, explain to you what is justice. So justice is sometimes uh, seen as an attribute of law. Most of the times when we want to understand the term justice, we understand that, that term from the perspective of law. Because uh, you know in societies where the law is taking uh, its course and law is working properly, that means uh, there is uh, you know, uh, always a possibility of justice because uh, law is very important you know we have to and once the uh, you know the law is taking its course in order to maintain justice you know then it becomes very uh, you know important attribute of uh, you know uh, ju you know justice is becoming justice is seen as an attribute of law so uh, so all laws are not just laws but we have to understand the fact of the matter that all laws are not just laws some of some of the laws may be just laws and you know based on justice uh, some of the laws may not be based on justice and they can be uh, uh, they can they, they could be impartial laws or biased laws and therefore uh, for example uh, i can give you the example in the context of uh, south africa when there was an apartheid movement going on and uh, <coughs> there were uh, in, in that context we can say and uh, they, they the people used to say that uh, a lot of movements, a lot of backlash actually emerged uh, that uh, that period of time against the unjust laws, and uh, and that can be given as an example, and that can be cited as an example of unjust laws in the context of South Africa when the apartheid uh, movement was prevalent over there. Uh, let's go move on. Uh, move on. Let's uh, go ahead. Let's see what how the Plato, one of the greatest philosopher, has uh, uh, actually defined it. You know, or he has explained it. What is actually justice to according to Plato? Uh, so just uh, according to Plato, he says that uh, in just state, each individual would fulfill his duty diligently. So what uh, Plato was expecting that uh, when he was talking, trying to speak out about justice. Uh, theory he says that everyone is uh, you know uh, everyone must uh, do his part must work you know uh, honestly and uh, uh, diligently and he must do his uh, whatever task whatever assignment somebody has been uh, given and then he must uh, do that honestly he must uh, do his, you know his work honestly and uh, diligently with full devotion, with full, without creating a problem for others, without uh, uh, middlesomeness in others' work. So that is uh, justice according to Plato. So in just a state, each, each individual would fulfill his duty diligently. So that is the Platonic concept of justice that in a, when, we, when he was talking about a just state, he says that each individual would fulfill his duty diligently. And he considered this thing that it, uh, the justice is one of the f uh, one of the four principles of virtue. So there there are four principles of virtue, and justice is one of the one among them. Uh, uh, according to Aristotle, uh, Aristotle is once he was talking about justice, and he says that just he he is trying to incorporate and include or entail. Uh, the uh, the concerns of equality and uh, uh, proportionality and maintenance of equilibrium in society. So he was interested to see a society more balanced, and there should be some equilibrium and uh, and uh, uh, you know the equality. He was more uh, vocal about uh, equality principle and proportionality and maintenance of equilibrium in society. Uh, okay, but when we uh, uh, when we want to discuss or deliberate justice uh, in the context of modern uh, in contemporary era justice was seen as a set of principles to be upheld by the state in order to make a life and business well regulated so since we live in a society in in a contemporary period so what we want to understand that is that uh, justice was needed for the purpose uh, to, to 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 regulate the human behavior and to regulate the different businesses and that is that was uh, you know in the context of the contemporary uh, you know world what we what we mean by the justice is 
uh, justice was see, seen as a set of principles to be upheld by the state and because the state's role is very important you know state has to uh, most of the time is it is the duty of the state to 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 maintain uh, you know the justice uh, among the people uh, in, within the society and uh, that that is his uh, that is the basic task that is the basic function of the state that state must be a justice state and uh, and justice is also a state can upheld you know this justice principle you know justice was seen as a set of principle to be upheld by the state in order to make life and business of well regulated so in order to regulate the human behavior in order to regulate the human life within its own ambit you know through 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 the through the principles of law and and also uh, try to uh, it is also the duty of the state to 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 regulate different businesses and uh, whether many business or big businesses uh, justice is also uh, see uh, justice can be also defined to give someone what is his due that if someone's uh, if someone has uh, uh, some right that we need to give that right to him or uh, that is also justice you know uh, justice is to give what is one's due what is one's right if we are giving someone his right that means we are doing justice with him so this was all about uh, the you know the what is actually justice in next le lecture i am going to you know the in coming lecture i i will be discussing about uh, you know the theories of justice you know and uh, some of the prominent theory i will be discussing with my students and I hope uh, uh, I have uh, done justice with my topic, uh, which was, uh, which is, uh, what is justice. And uh, uh, see you next time with my uh, coming lecture. And uh, take care of yourself. Stay blessed.